What do you think that's under here? I, I think I think it's a 300D, but the RGB one. Can you give some hints? Yeah, so there is a little Victor clone. Well, coming from Aperture, it's going to be something very exciting. My first guess was, um, you all know Ted from Aperture. Yes. He's been kind of the face um, from Aperture. Yes. So I believe maybe this is a clone of Ted. So they can have two Ted's. No, it would be really nice to have like a HDMI, like really like a sun, daylight thing. Be a tungsten light. Tungsten? Yeah. The 300T. Yeah. yeah. LEDs Maybe. are uh, old school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We've got to go back to tungsten. Yeah, and heat up the planet. I think it's going to be 500D or 500X, so uh, twice as bright as the 300D bicolor. What's next? Maybe one that floats and can follow you around. Some special lighting, uh, lighting stuff. But it's hard to imagine. I really don't know. No idea yet. Uh, what is going on, guys? I don't script any of this stuff. My name is Ted. Welcome to the after booth for IBC 2019. I see a lot of familiar faces in here. Really good to see you all. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Introducing the 600D Aperture Lightstorm 600D. I've seen comments of people saying LED will never be as bright as an M18. LED will never be as bright as a 1.2K HMI. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, I've read comments that said LEDs will never be as bright as a 5K tungsten light or a point source for an 800 watt mm -hmm. HMI. But guess what? We're standing in front of it right now, the 600D, brighter than an 800 watt HMI, Bowen's mount so you can modify it to a spotlight. Yes, we're competing with that Gel Eco 800 watt. Really excited about that. Brighter than any other point source LED out there. If you're the orbiter, by the way, just not trying to be petty about this, but the orbiter, just by math, again, photometrics haven't been published, 400 watt nominal H uh, LED. That's six colors too. This is a single chip on board 600 watt LED. Nothing on the market right now compares in terms of brightness. In addition to that, we've got the bones mount on the front. You've got a five pin XLR cable here on the bottom, replaceable cables, everything that was built in with the 300D Mark II. On the side here, four V mount plates. That's massive. We know, he's a chunky boy, but <laughs> we're working on this. This that is not the final the design. That's the chunky boy yes. where you talked about. Yeah, it is the chunky boy. Yeah, it's well, not it's the both of them together. He's got, he's got a a small head and a really big body. Yeah. So he's a chunky boy. <laughs> but is there a reason that it needs to be yes. as big as this? So, actually, here's the thing is that it's not just four battery plates on itself. And by the way, this is a ridiculous amount of power that's being supplied to LEDs. On top of that, we wanted to make sure that it was quiet. So for heat dissipation, for passive heat dissipation, you gotta make sure it's larger so you're able to do that passive cooling. But for batteries, in addition to that, uh, to put four V-mount plates on there, really you can't get that much smaller. And this is not just a ballast. One of the things that I haven't mentioned in a lot of interviews, this thing will charge your batteries nice. while it's on. So, so you will be able to power the light, charge your batteries, so don't, you don't have to worry have about to spend paying. any more money on a big charger. And you know how much a V-mount charger is. We're talking easily $500 every yeah. day. So, Four of these right here, you got a six meter long neutral cable on the bottom here, XLRs of course, five pin DMX, 15 built in effects on the top here as well. Uh, again, sport, raw daylight output. This is a, a 5K tungsten light essentially, about the equivalent that you could use at home. It's 5K space lights, this is that replacement. This is a light that you can really compete with daylight, push in, expose an entire room for a wide shot and still be able to see what's outside. Not available yet, but we're thinking it's gonna be about Q1 2020. As far as pricing goes, not set as well either. Can't say much right now, so, but. So probably on NAB we get the next big update about a product like this? No, no, this will be out before NAB. Before? This will be out well before NAB. Good job. This will be well before yeah. NAB. So, again, really at the end of the day, it's about making the tools, but we want to see what you guys do with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also want to hear what filmmakers think about it. We know yes. a lot of filmmakers watch videos like this. So, if you guys are watching this and you have any feedback or comments mm -hmm. about it, I'm going to tell you right now, by release day, yeah. really good chance this belt is going to get cut in half and it's going to be two battery plates. But, can't confirm anything yet, so let us know in the comments yes. actually what you think about it. But Let's bring in a filmmaker. Yes. Can we have uh, a, we random pick a filmmaker? random filmmaker? One random filmmaker. Hey! hey. And there's what are the odds yeah, if we yeah, chose yeah. one random filmmaker yeah. that'd be on? Do you know what this light is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Looks uh, <laughs> really, really big. Yeah. No, so, but this, uh, is fun. this is fun yeah. because <laughs> I remember the first camera review I did on the YouTube channel. That was Ken 550D. Yeah. And now we have 600 D. It's honors for a filmmaker like yeah. you. How would you use a light like this? It's a raw intensity. 
No, you know, for, for me, it's uh, like the 300D. I thought that was strong enough, but yeah. now <laughs> you can never get a strong enough light. So 600D definitely yeah. feels safe if yeah. you bring it. Yeah. Because you can dim it, right? Yeah, you can dim so it. So you can dim it down you to a little You can dim it light. under 10% too. Yeah. I think it's on. Oh, it's on 100, but before it was on 15 and it was blinding the background. Was... I really in the future want to test it out yeah. to see if we can have, uh, I don't know if it's going to have, uh, yeah. it's going to, um, if this is possible, but let's say if you have like, you're shooting uh, at night and you're outside and let's see if you can actually make it look like it's sunny. You want to do a day for night? <laughs> I don't know. I would love to watch this video. Yeah, actually. Well, if you're a little bit creative, if you're a little bit creative, too, I think yeah. you can do this. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I got to be honest. As soon as I saw the light, the first thing that I wanted to see is I wanted to see a filmmaker go out there and like light light a like a cathedral or something with huge windows, some yeah. kind of architecture. And I want to be able to see everything out the windows. I wanted to be able to see the entire interior, light the entire space, but then also go right past and see all the green grass out there. I want to see a plane and stuff, like a castle or something like that. So first person to find me a shot of a castle with the grass exposed on the outside and the interiors exposed properly too, I'll, um, I'll you buy you a, a meat pie or something or a cheese sandwich. 20 600 of these. Yeah. 20 600 of these. I think well, we can do this. In Europe, you can plug four of these into one household circuit. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. You have a 20K light. Yeah. Yeah. What would you do with a 20 <laughs> So cool, so cool. Really, Thanks congratulations. Thanks, it's, uh, I just happened to be here and uh, yeah, it's a I got a champagne from you guys. Passing by. Yeah, of course, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> For sure. All right, thanks, man. Dave. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Anders. And, yeah. thanks. Anders was literally one of the first people out there that thanks, used that. the lights. Hey, man, yeah. thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate check it. Check out the Anders channel. Hey, check out the Anders channel. <laughs> yeah, you should subscribe to yeah. him. Subscribe to Anders' channel. He has absolutely. Some really nice channel. We yes, will do absolutely. maybe a video about this tomorrow. Hopefully. Tomorrow. No. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate it.